Snow White, and the Dwarf Queen. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was an evil queen named Hela. This queen would stand in front of her dark magic mirror almost every day and ask it questions. Black mirror, dark mirror, tell me. Who is the most evil of them all? The black mirror always reflected Hella's own silhouette in response to this question. <laughs> of course, I am the most evil of them all. This way, I can get everything I want. Hella wanted to be the most beautiful woman in this world by casting evil spells. However, she could not surpass the beauty of Snow White, who was much more beautiful than her. Thanks to my new spell, I will now overshadow Snow White's beauty. Very respectable, Queen. Isn't your new spell a little dangerous? I prefer risking such a danger rather than sitting around like you, Dunkov. Hella went to the potion bottles. She picked up the bottle of purple potion. With this potion she had prepared, she was going to turn herself into a dwarf, steal the crown of invisibility, and use the power of the crown to destroy Snow White's beauty. But at that time, Snow White, who was living in a beautiful white castle in another part of the country, was having fun with her dwarf friends, unaware. Of her sinister schemes. Okay, everyone in place. Yes, my princess. Then I shall get started. Snow White loved the game called Telephone Tongue Twisters. In this game, the friends formed a line and tried to correctly convey the tongue twister that the first person whispered to the last person. In the end. Everyone laughs merrily if the last person couldn't get the tongue twister right. <laughs> oh, let me think. Hmm, I found it. Get the pot, cast the pot, bring the pot, cast the pot. <laughs> Aw, it's hard. Get the boat. Cast the pot. Bring the boat. Cast the pot. Get the boat. Turn the boat. Burn the goat. Turn the float. Bring the goat. Turn the float. Here it is. I got a boat. 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 Yes, Shy. Tell us. What's the tongue twister? Well, uh, uh, bring it, take it, get it, have it. <laughs> hey, you never would have guessed it, Shy. <laughs> What was it originally? Get the pot, cast the pot, bring the pot, cast the pot. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> As fun days pass at Snow White's castle, the evil Hella was about to drink that dangerous potion in her terrible cave. Listen carefully, Dunkov. When the full moon comes out, you have to pull the magic rope to get me back to my old self, so that I can shapeshift between myself and the form of a dwarf. <laughs> As you wish, my queen. If you can't pull the magic rope, I can stay as a dwarf until the next full moon. Do not fail me, Dunkov. Hella drank a sip of her potion and began to wait excitedly. When she saw that nothing happened, she took another sip and another sip, and all of a sudden. There was dust and smoke. Through the smoke, the evil Hella had finally appeared as a dwarf. 
Wow, my queen, I can't believe my eyes. You're... Now uh, I'm going to Snow White's castle, Dunkov. Don't miss the full moon. <laughs> yes, yes, my little mini tiny queen. <laughs> what? Sorry, sorry, my great high... Tall queen. <laughs> Hella set off to the country's most majestic castle. Since she was not used to being this short, even a bird flying overhead frightened the evil queen. How these seven dwarves are living fearlessly in the forest, I'll never understand. <laughs> After moving along the forest road for a while, Hella finally arrived at the castle. She also managed to enter the castle secretly, without being seen by anyone. She sneaked along the corridor of the castle and got to where the royal crown was kept. Seeing the crown, her eyes brightened. Here I found you, my precious invisibility crown. <laughs> the evil Hella wore the crown without wasting any time, so she slowly disappeared. <laughs> I knew it would work. Ella came out of the castle invisibly. Meanwhile, she encountered Snow White and the seven dwarves, who were spending time in the castle's garden. Of course, nobody realized that Ella was there. Before night, I better go to my cave and return to my old self. Just then, the royal crown got caught on the branch of a tree in the castle's garden. But Hella didn't feel it. Because of this, the dwarf Hella became visible to everyone. But before she realized it, Snow White saw her. Hey, stop there. Who are you? Uh, another dwarf? She looks somewhat familiar, but who? When Hella heard what was said, she stood where she was for a moment. She checked her head with her hand and realized that the crown was not on her head. Huh? My royal crown! Snow White rushed towards the crown, hanging on the tree branch. Hella, who realized the situation, immediately climbed the tree. No, it's Hella. She's turned herself into a dwarf like us. Repulsive. While Snow White was just about to touch the crown, Hella moved faster and took the royal crown. She quickly got it on her head, so she became invisible again and disappeared. Oh no! Where are you, Hella? I know it's you who did this. Give me back my royal crown! Snow White kept running around, not seeing where Hella was. However, Hella had already left the castle's garden. My princess, Hella must be gone by now. But she stole our crown! What are we going to do now? It got very dark as Hella was moving fast from the forest road towards her cave. With these dwarf feet, I won't be able to get to the cave soon enough. I hope Dunkov can manage to pull the magic rope in time. As the full moon slowly showed up in the sky, Dunkov immediately went to the magic rope that Hella said. But the rope was so high, Dunkov could not pull it. Ugh. Ugh. Was the rope always this high? Up! Ugh. Grow little legs! Ugh. Oh, 
my back. Oh, my back. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to miss the deadline. After a few hours, Hella finally reached her cave and saw that Dunkov still could not pull the magic rope. Ouch. Oh. No! You idiot! I'll be a dwarf until the next full moon! I'm sorry, my queen, but my height just wasn't enough. Then how will my height be enough? Ow! Hella remained as a dwarf until the next full moon because of her dangerous magic. When evil people do something evil, they never get good in return. Because goodness only lives in good hearts. <laughs> <laughs>